All right, you're now listening to a new episode of the City Podcast, the Can I Trust You Podcast. This is episode 108. He's still fucking that up. He's still, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. How, it's either you choose, nigga. It's either oh, the one of the podcast right. or the Can I Trust You Podcast. I forgot you guys don't want the whole photo of me. Well, anymore. it just sounds stupid. It's redundant. That's been their oh, podcast again. name for so long. I know, but you gotta like be at this point, no one understands the Can I Trust You part. Sure. Because we don't do anything anyway this is your host tony and i'm here All with right. Roman. <laughs> and your boy eric hey, and what eric boy. was trying to say is we have no a that's special what i guest. said niggas i wasn't trying to say i oh, said it we got a special guest and his name is a special guest hey, it's james james yeah, james could you be more enthusiastic oh. Un- unenthusiastic yeah, it's whatever. fucking james <laughs> a little late but okay yeah Anyway. I mean, uh, Jack Nicholas style from The Shining. I don't yeah. know. The, the, can I, the Can I Trust You kind of fits. I mean, we usually just talk nonsense and opinions. Mm. Kind of trusting people with that. Not really. Mm. You, you're going to trust somebody with an opinion that you're just going to put on here. And I, don't really I mean, can, I, I feel like they got to see if they can trust me around hobos, children, women. We, like I said, nonsense. Uh, yeah, trust there's, there's a lot of things that got to keep the distance from me, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're a scumbag. You know how <laughs> I told wrong. you. I told you this for, forever. There's like you're, you're a scumbag with a heart of gold. Yeah. That's what you are. Yeah, I and can't be like, lonely. Can, can I trust her not to be this creepy in real life? He's not that creepy. No, he's not. Nah. Yeah, only because we know him. Only yeah, you kind of had to know his humor he wants to, to get uh, used to the dirt. To the, to the you don't think I'm a jerk. Oh man, this is funny. I don't know why, but I always feel like rhyming. Now. You always rhyme this, every single time. You missed there the funniest you know. shit today, so we're playing some fighting games, right? Yep. And uh, James had to go to the restroom, mm-hmm. and he was getting up. He's like, oh, "I'm just going to your restroom." There goes. You should go to my restroom. <laughs> nah, and nah. he's and he's like, "Why?" And I answer, "Oh, it's because it's dirty." Yeah. And James and he laughs. He's like, "You leave the restroom." Yeah, but you kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, I mean, I, was like, yeah, bro, I love you like a brother, but fucking shit. <laughs> no, he he is. I do it. He's I do coming. it for. I do it for a reason. It's his. Uh, it's my feel safe. It's it's like, ain't nobody gonna go in there. Uh, but no one wants to go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you wanna get pregnant? Don't go in there. Oh god. The, the thing that I don't get is like it doesn't deter anybody like people just go in there anyway it deterred him. no actually Colleen will not go in there yeah exactly yeah it's true well i i would i would assume she won't no man. girl that hurts. oh yeah no no yeah, girl she, will ever go into actually, your restroom yeah, yeah no girl. i remember the first time we actually moved into this part of the back of the house mm-hmm. and i had my own room i think it was like a halloween party and maybe a, ha- a birthday party uh that we had I think I remember... Into the mic, sir. No, it's into the mic. It's anyway. Anyways. So it was like a Halloween party or, or a birthday party. Oh, obviously, I got drunk at those times. And I was super drunk. And I remember I was, you know, fucking showing people the way over there. And guys were like, I'll just pee in the back. And I was like, cool. But I remember the girls were there. And they're like, do you have to wait there? And I was like, I don't trust you. Because I thought they were going to steal some stuff that I would have, like, on my thing. But they thought... I was just being a creeper and just fucking like. Well, it's kind of creepy. Because mm-hmm. the bed's right there. I was like, he's going to fucking take advantage. I was like, bitch, I'm too drunk to even do anything right now. I'm too At best. Yeah. Eric, Eric just gives up that creepy vibe no matter what. It's true. You you have you have a creep vibe until you talk until somebody talks to you. No, and then it just becomes worse. No. It depends on the person. Cause because he's, he starts usually when he wants to break the ice, he breaks the ice with like rape jokes. That's true. And a lot you of do people do don't. I think get I remember his that's the first jokes. time I talked to you. I, so you I, did a rape I joke. tend to disagree. Really? I, think, I so. think a lot of people do uh, tend to be very receptive to rape jokes. It's just the aftermath that's the problem. <laughs> they either don't <laughs> like you and they'll never talk Maybe to you again. Or... He did say that when he went out with his old uh school friends mm-hmm. they're like god damn her you just don't hold back huh? you don't give a fuck mm-hmm. it's like nope it's the way i am now but we need that nowadays everyone the fucking millennials and shit fucking get hurt because all this other gay shit going on around here like i don't like, know what do you what kind of gay shit jim well i don't know the uh, the thing i get mad about is uh let me tell you what grabs my gears <laughs> oh, yeah, let me, let me tell you what grabs my gears. like I, I was talking to eric about this earlier and i i read an article on like fighting game culture um, there's a there's a study going on right now, or like just within the fighting game community, that 
uh, millennials or the new generation, they don't actually like playing games like Tekken, Street Fighter, and whatnot because uh, they don't like the feeling of loss. They don't like the feeling of losing. And it's not so much like, I mean, they'll lose if they play another game, like how Eric said, like Fortnite earlier. I mean, all video games are going to eventually have a winner. Right, but it hurts. Technically, like, not Minecraft. Right, right, but it, it it hurts them more knowing that there's no other excuse other than you not knowing how to play the character. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why fighting games kind of like is taking a hit. But thank God, Evo is still like popular as fuck right now. So, so. nine excuses of why they lost. It's yeah. Like you don't have the talent to beat the other person. Yeah. And they don't like that. I I could see that talent, technique, whatever. Yeah, I think. Um, well, then again, fighting games in general, the community and the people that play it have changed so much. Hmm. It came from people that used to talk a lot of shit to get in the competitive side of hmm. you know. I talk shit to get into people's heads so they can mess up and everything. Yeah. So now you have to be censored and everything, but it all because they, the community grew. Yeah. I think it's want, censored because but it, they're, they're reaching out for the guard. Uh, uh, what age group they're... Yeah, I think I think they were trying to make it more family friendly so they could grow bigger and get more sponsors. Would you be more, more family friendly, friendly than the shootout? <laughs> <laughs> that, Too uh, soon. That was, uh, Too uh, soon. that was a football game. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Yeah, that video was pretty gnarly, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Well, I, did you see the one where he actually had the red dot on his freaking chest or whatever? Oh, what, the guy who was playing got shot? No, 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 not the, the, not the announcer? Uh, oh, the guy had like a red dot on his fucking gun. Yeah, or something like that, yeah, yeah. Huh, that's uh, pretty cool. It's a lot of people that take it the extra level. Ooh. But then again, I think he had mental problems. Yeah, so but when it comes to, to fighting games, it is a strange thing. As, like, no matter what, there's always going to be some type of attitude yeah. like you know you're better like when i play uh tony and eric like i know i can beat them mm-hmm. like it's really not yeah because you guys suck dude. yeah they're not very good <laughs> uh, yeah we beat you today uh, that's true yeah, but uh when, it's like, but it's uh, so like when they talk shit i'm like okay whatever it doesn't matter like it just fucking rolls off my back and then until we beat them i just don't <laughs> talk shit because i'm just like eh, i don't have to I fucking beat you. My mm. actions prove my words. I, until I, yeah, I, until I, we beat you I, I, and they're I, like, all right, all right. Uh, and, you, and you get to that emotion of like, you can see he getting flustered and you're like, damn it. Like really. lately, like when we were playing the other day, uh, yeah, we beat you and you started talking shit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, we get it. He's, he's getting back into the groove of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, this week, I played so much video games just because of today. Mm-hmm. I knew James wasn't coming over. I was like, oh, man, I don't want to lose to him as bad as I did last time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm from that generation, a part of that. I like losing because it makes you want to kind of yeah progress or get a little bit better or not give you the same satisfaction that you had mm-hmm. the last time. Yeah. Even, if, even if you end up losing again, at least you lost either less or you took a win or you got that one good round. They're like, oh, okay, you could see that you've been improving a little bit. Mm-hmm. And now the generation of the new generation don't even like that. They're yeah. like, oh, I lost. I'm not going to play no more. Yeah, yeah. Like, Luckily, that ain't me. I don't care. Because <laughs> he's sucking. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> win, lose, I'm just glad someone's playing with me. Oh, yeah, we, we played, we wasted so much money and time, and, and, and we grew with a fighting game culture that we ain't gonna stop. Yeah. Can't stop even my older brother that's almost 40, he still gets on some fighting games. Mm. You know, he's like the worst player of all, yeah. but he has that old school mentality. He's like, I'm just gonna beat you, like, straight off the box, and we put it in. He's like, you're gonna lose to me, because mm. I've been playing this kind of games since I was little. And it becomes that, okay, I'm not going to let you win. Yeah. And then we, it becomes like, we start shit-talking each other, and it just it's it's fun. I it gets just, physical. I don't understand. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, you never oh, got like, punched by, by you game? You never played again? Well, it's because you, you, you never were around when Santos was playing with us. Uh, but he hits you. Uh, <laughs> he starts losing. No, that's, that's hilarious. Uh, you never been around people that start punching each other when they lose? No? No, not really. Mm-hmm. Um, they usually throw their controllers on the floor before <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Uh, but that was, I mean, we end up with violence in all games. When yeah. we were playing our version of rugby, it got violent. Basketball mm. got violent. I think it was just us then. Mm. Yeah, not- the common denominator is, <laughs> is not this is. <laughs> we're all I know people. is a very fun game to play back in the day was called Smear the Queer. And uh, now I think you go to jail for that. Yeah. You go, <laughs> no, you'll get put in fucking time out or something. There you go. Yeah, you gotta go, go to the special. Like, ooh, time out. What the fuck? Oh, so you, my you think that my time out was a belt. 
The generation has changed a lot, though. I think so. I mean, I don't know. You get, like, I'm 30 years old or whatever. I'm not that fucking old yet. I feel like it. But, like... You when I like when I yeah when I see these like new cats coming into the hospital or something like that, I'm like oh I can't believe you said that I'm like oh like I don't know what's going on in the whole. Do you well, think the military's changed that way too? I mean I know you're part of the military. Yeah. Has, has it maybe? Has then, it uh, pussified a little bit more? No I don't I don't think that although. Pussified. Pussified. Know, pussified. Pussified. You said Pacific Heights. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Nah, that's a word I heard. Oh, no, man. they're just definitely, um, they're, military's keeping tabs on freaking, um, uh, people like, um, I think they're even like saying that if you, like the whole, you know, the transgender and stuff like that, mm-hmm. they're, now before, when you think about it back then, like, it was like, don't ask, don't tell, whatever, mm-hmm. like, like, everyone knows this, whatever, uh, like, they didn't really want to do, like, they didn't want to know if you were gay. They didn't want to know if yeah, anything. As long as they don't knew, they didn't care. Yeah, but now the military is like, oh, hey, you, you're you going to sign up for a contract? Cool, I don't care what you are. Just sign up. So that that's pretty cool that the military is doing that. So You don't like sucking dicks, right? Because you're not going to be you're gonna be in a bear with like 12 dudes. You're going to try and suck the dicks, are you? They're like, mm-hmm. maybe. You're acting, <laughs> like, you're acting like if they're gay, they're just like, I just need cock. Like, a lot of a lot of gays are. They just you don't yeah. understand. You don't understand, Roman. You haven't seen them in their seen, in their natural I've habitat in the fucking club. Mm. Those guys are hunting for dick. They're dick oh, hunters, dude, bro. Everybody, heard, everybody that goes to a club is looking for something. Yeah, but gay dudes are aggressive as fuck. I've yeah, heard the gay dudes are like next level of like. Yeah, but that's like there's straight dudes that are aggressive. There's that, yeah, and you know what happens to them? Small... They 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 fucking take advantage of. You know, politely take advantage of a girl who's passed out by the dumpster and yeah, then get I'm not caught. Saying, I'm, not I'm just saying, they're, they're, they don't say like, hey, I'm going to eat your dick or I'm going to show you what these guns can do on that ball bag. That, 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 and you're like, you're like, Jesus Christ. See, that, that's a different Roman when a straight dude's trapping up a girl. He's like, hey, girl, let me take you back to my place. So let's hook up or mm-hmm. something. Right. I feel like they're, they're t- saying they're trying to initiate a day I won't fuck, right? Yeah. Gay guys, according to what I've fucking heard, is like, oh, nigga, it's like, just do it right now in the restroom, show me your dick. Mm-hmm. Or they grow up there, grab dick. Mm-hmm. I was like, I want you to put your dick in. I was like, damn. Like, well, like okay. they, they, they don't, shit. they follow you to the they restroom. They're like, around, but there's still, like, chicks that are like, yeah, like, a, they're straight chicks that are like, a guy is like, hey, I, get, well, I want to dick that, I want to dick you down in the bathroom. They're like, I'm game. Like, there's still Yeah, but you know what you have to... You know how much you waste? It's a smaller smaller percentage, I'll say that. Look, here's it is. You know know what you have to do to be able to get dick down the chick down and a thing? Either one, you have to be flashy as fuck with some jewelry or whatever. No, I don't care about the dick. Or two, you got to have a good old fucking helping bag of cocaine, baby. Girls love doing cocaine in restrooms. I don't know what it is about restrooms and cocaine. <laughs> Girls love it. It makes the cocaine taste that much. I sweeter. think porcelain just they're just like give me that porcelain, give me that sweet sugar booger, no, baby. It's because you want like so, when you're doing coke, you don't want to like show it off because you don't want other people like being like, hey, you have coke. Like you just want to you want to keep it to yourself, and you're like, hey, let's go to the bathroom. And let's just fucking do it there. Because no, no one, we go into a stall, no one fucking bothers us. Yeah. Let's go to the privacy of a, of a public restroom to do our drugs. Yeah, you go into a stall. <laughs> It's like, you they, you they, don't just fucking mean, like you just don't like fucking wipe down the counter when you wash your hands. Oh, yeah, they don't the wipe line. down. I didn't say they wipe down anything. They just like whack and then. <laughs> what I'm saying, like you, you, just, you, you, do you, that you, on, just... you do that in a stall because yeah, it's no. like, hey, I'm sharing it with only you. I don't want anybody fucking touching my. Coke. And then we can fuck. Yeah, exactly. You see this that's coke, what, coke just makes you want to fuck. That, that's what man said. This fuck. It just brings out a fucking mirror from the back pocket. Like, you can use this to serve it up, crack it up. No, like I said, no, like I said, there's, there's, there's like two types of dudes when you, they're trying to get to a chick. One's the straight up like, hey, girl, let's fucking fuck. And she'd be like, "Uh, oh, no, that boy." Like a and he's like, "Ass fucking R and B song." Yeah. <laughs> girl, let's fucking fuck. <laughs> yeah, the long game. Of the and fuck. then, and then you have the other guy who's like, "Oh, hey there, pretty lady, let me buy you a fucking 
Okay, there's three dudes. Hey, girl, let me buy you a drink. <laughs> and then the other guy's just okay, like... five dudes. No, it's just three dudes, three dudes. Okay, it's the nice guy, uh-huh. the straight-up front guy, and uh-huh. then the roofie guy, the Bill Cosby guy. Uh-huh. He's like, hey, okay. And they're like, hey, you come here up and get away from me. All right, I'll see you in five minutes, bitch. <laughs> Like, I'll leave. I'll leave. She's like, oh, I feel so sleepy. You're like, oh, that's my cue. I kind of, kind of here for the future, for for my nieces and nephews. Goddamn. I don't. You just tell them don't go to fucking clubs unless you want to get raped. Oh, I saw. I finally saw like a. I do like, 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 finally <laughs> check, check that off the bucket list. <laughs> finally, I finally saw. A dude leave a female restroom like for the first time, like because you know the whole transgender or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that oh, it's okay to just do you yeah. the restroom. So yeah. it was a trans, a tran dude, or I, I mean, or was he just he had a full beard? It, it was a, it was a dude, look like very like feminine features. So maybe he was getting like the the hormonal injections or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was gonna say because there's sometimes when the emergencies happen, no, this, dudes go into the girls' no, restroom. No, no. No, it didn't look that way. Like you know, you get you that. Know, you vibe. gotta make sure there's no one in there. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't like he went. He came out. He's all like, "Oh man, that bro, that was a close <laughs> one." You know what I mean? Like, this is all like, "No, I belong here." Kind of look. Uh, when I mean, he came sometimes out. you gotta play it off like you were like, "Oh man, that's a close one." But then again, I have seen a chick leave the dude's restroom, and that's mostly because they fucked. It was at nah. a Sam's Burger joint. Uh, went to go see a, a rockabilly uh, concert, mm. and while I was getting a burger, I was like, "Man." I gotta take a piss. And the door was locked. And I was like, this is fucking bullshit. I know there's two stalls in there. Someone's being greedy. And then I saw the dude come out and then the chick right behind him. And I was like, oh, cool. And I I just couldn't pee anywhere because I didn't know what came, where, where he came. Oh, <laughs> there's a condom on the floor and then a condom in the restroom. In the, in the well, it's not like you're rubbing your, It doesn't look like you're, you're not rubbing your dick in the wastebasket or anything like that. I'm not that. rubbing my dick anywhere, but there could be semen everywhere. I mm, guess. Well, did you wait? Did you, you, you have do, a, you do the condom? Wait, hold on. You do the condom trick where you put it on and then you fuck it for a little bit, then you whip it out and then you just fuck them wrong. No, I, I think I'm just having trouble. Oh, like, Eric's fucking creepy as fuck. No, oh, that's not creepy. I'm, that's a that's a fucking. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure out Eric P sitting down or P standing up because. Oh, I P sitting down and standing up. Man, it depends on. Well, no, I'm saying because <laughs> like you say, you had trouble going to the restroom. Just fucking pee in the urinal. Well, because I was eating and I also had to take a shit. I don't think. I don't think that guy's using the urinal. You, 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 you. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's no. You're no. You're in no. no. Jesus. It's like three, yeah, no. three, three, no. three, I have and, yeah, three syllables. <laughs> three <laughs> syllables. Every other word. Uh, it's late and I'm taking a lot of pills. <laughs> Fucking. Don't go to a gay club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't like dude. What's that? You like dick? I don't think big dudes use a fucking not stall pressure. Mm. There you go. Okay. In peace, Danny. Oh, I, I don't, I don't use the the urinals <laughs> mainly because I saw American History X and I was like, oh, you get shanked that way. Uh, <laughs> and in my for, in my people. rational brain, I was like, I get shanked that way. <laughs> uh-uh, not not today. Me. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm fucking pee like this. Sometimes sitting down, I don't give a fuck. I mean, but you you say you I have a pee problem. sitting down. Yeah, no, I do. It's a <laughs> It's <laughs> liberating. Fucking girl. I know you, I know you had a, yeah, especially like when you have to take a shit though. Like honestly, like I'm not gonna zip up my oh. pants just to fucking pee standing up. You know what I mean? The middle yeah. of the night, my aim ain't great. I don't even have my my glasses on. Without my glasses, I can't see shit. So like I'm walking, and I'm like feeling around. Like yeah. right, I guess that's a restroom <laughs> until I hear screams. Yeah. Um, but it's I just dark in his house. <laughs> <laughs> All you hear is Bob go, wrong room, Roman. Oh, shit, Bob's not about that. God damn it, Roman. How did I make it to the other side of the kitchen? Mm-hmm. All you hear is... Oh, man, now, yeah. All you hear is the dad put some fucking pants on. Yeah. Go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> you pee like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Yeah. <laughs> but I know you have uh, you had problems going with public restrooms, right? So yeah, I guess it's like the only way you could even... Possibly go. Yeah, I mean, pissing isn't like a big deal, so you're just pissing. Yeah. But like taking a shit, that's that's a bigger deal for me. So yeah. but I, I can't take a shit in, in public places, not yeah. without a lot of uh, a lot of work up 
No. And a, lot, a lot of talk up in my head, like you got this like, like, yeah, like I'm like Rocky, like in a training yeah. montage, like trying to like build myself up because I fucking can't do it. Yeah. You try, you give yourself pep talks and go take a fuck dump. yeah. I I I I search up that fucking Vegeta video that I like so much on fucking oh, yeah. YouTube, yeah. where they put the Rocky sh- uh, speech over. I'm oh, like, yeah. you could take a shit right that here, a, man. That was a good fucking video. I it's remember a great that video. shit. Yeah, guess we fucking rock hard every time I see it. So actually, since we're talking about the fucking stalls and shit like that so do you guys adhere to the the man rule about the fucking if there's three urinals yeah you, you know, keep your separate space, yeah, oh, yeah. Separate oh, space. Yeah. okay you never um, fucking even piss next to someone there's you have minimal space i have done yeah. that at times but that's mostly because in concerts or whatever and they're there and he was like good good concert he was like yeah man and i was like cool mm. <laughs> but <laughs> does, does it does it bother you that a guy came out of a girl's restroom no, it just it, it was a weird. Like I was like, cause as long I, as I didn't see a little girl come out of that before, after. I mean, he's right, I guess. But uh, what's it called? Uh, no, it, it didn't. Really, like I don't care. Like if you're gay, or whatever. Like cool. You suck that dick. You fucking. You, you fucking sl- rock that dick, bro. <laughs> you fucking. You eat that. You fucking take a picture and you fucking send it. To yeah. Me. You chug. The fuck out of that yeah, thing? Yeah. Hey, you know what, dude? Show me the finishing fucking product. You know what I'm hey, saying? You, can, yeah. you, can you, know what? you can't start the story and not finish it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta give me updates. Yeah. I, I can imagine James going to the fucking some dude like, you'd be the best gay you could be. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Look, you know man, you with... gay, and that's awesome. So, hey, don't don't look at them. Look at me. Look at me. You but be... Don't look at me in the way you love me, yeah, baby, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, how to grow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got a wife. Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? But, yeah, no, it, it didn't really... It didn't creep me out, but I was like, it was kind of like that realization, like, oh, this is a thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see it very often. Yeah. It is a thing. Uh, yeah, you don't see it often in Texas. Uh, mm. what? Like, trannies or cross-dressers? Or the whole the guys in the girls' restroom. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, okay. like, this is, I, I recognize in my brain that I am a female, but I'm a, in a male body. So, but even though, I'm, since I think I'm a female, I'm going to the female head. I know. Oh, sorry. Know. Sorry, restroom. Uh, I don't worry about it. We know what that is. We, we yeah. know what you mean. Well, you guys know. We get it. Yeah. Like, I, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't believe those people that believe that they're whatever. I'm just like, you just ugly. Accept it. Mm. I'm just one of those persons that if, if you don't fuck with me, I don't care what you are, what you do. Yeah. Or you don't fuck with the people I'm with. Yeah. I mean, like, you, if you don't have to, <laughs> if you don't have to go to my nieces, nephews, brothers, uncles, whatever, be like, this is, I'm this kind of person. This is the way I'd be like, no, nah, I don't really care. Yeah. So like, you leave me alone, dude. <laughs> I can just imagine somebody be like, <laughs> you're like hanging out with Roman. It's like, hey, Roman, yeah. That tranny fucking trying to talk to you, bro? Yeah. I was like, you son of a bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did he say he wanted the fuck? He's like, yeah. So I'm gonna go beat the shit out of that guy and disrespect my friend like that. I'd be like, I'm, I'm not care. beating you because I don't you're know, a fucking tranny. Be <laughs> so he's like, I'm not beating you because you're a tranny. I'm beating you because you just bothering my friend. Mm. <laughs> oh, this like, isn't a hate crime. This is fucking righteousness. There's a difference between. I'm the, the cops. Like, yeah, I'm just witnessing a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> my friend's just beating up some tranny that tried to talk to me. See, there's a difference between talking and she or he whip out mm-hmm. his or her cock. Nah, you just went crazy on him for no reason. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> We're talking about the chatty. I thought I thought he was cool, but <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Hey man, I like your shell." And you're like, "Thanks, I like your fake breast." <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 she was so nice. <laughs> I, I like how the crazy. skin is so stretched around your nipple. And then you're just like, "Hey." Can I check something out? You can get a flashlight and you put it behind her boob and see if it glows red. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I saw that on Facebook. I know it was a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah the it's like, you know, that is that real or fake? Yeah. Right? There ain't no fat in there, baby. It's all clear liquid silicone, Me, whatever. But you know, there's a difference between conversation and bothering, right? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like you attack anybody when you're just like, how come nobody fucking hit it on me? <laughs> I like trannies. <laughs> I like being told I'm pretty by the fucking what, same sex. What's wrong with sex. me? Why would they? Have, why would they go up and talk to me? Look at all this fucking jewelry accessories I got. I'm I, trying so hard. <laughs> look at all these accessories. I'm a fucking catch. All right. <laughs> the shit I made myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm creative. I know how to make shit, but and I look fabulous. I have a, no, I have bitch a and or cunt. <laughs> I have, a, I have a subscription to Etsy, motherfucker. <laughs> I do have a subscription to Etsy. 
Fuck you, Dan. That is awesome. Yeah, it's Pinterest, my favorite things. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. I do yeah. pictures myself. All right, I'm going to... You know what? We're going to just stop this podcast. I'm convinced only women and gay guys go on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, Tony's one of them. Because I know John goes on... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's dating Con- Con- <laughs> Confirm. I don't. I don't go to it. So I just got my dick sucked. That's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because I have Etsy and Pinterest in the same little square uh-huh. bubble. I yeah. do. Mm. Nah, no, no, next to Reddit. <laughs> don't get me wrong. That's where I get like some of those like gifts where I can't. I know I can't get in stores. I get that for creative stuff like uh, for shipper Warhammer mm-hmm. and then <laughs> shit shit to um, how to. Yeah, I don't make jewelry shows. I like Pinterest. I, I, yeah, I mean, I remember <laughs> uh, Clarissa, when she listens to us. I remember when she showed me Pinterest. She's like, you don't go to Pinterest? I was like... Clarissa's his ex. No, yeah, she was, she's a, she's so a faithful she's, listener she's to the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, faithful listener. You hear, listener, listener, you, you hear the crickets in the background. <laughs> there you go. Oh, but um, she, she listens to podcasts for Martin not for him. Uh, yeah, she was always funny. She's always disappointed. Um... I remember she she was the first one that showed me. She's like, "You've never seen Pinterest." I'm like, "What the fuck is Pinterest? Is it You're Twitter? Like, is, that some t- is that some type of new porn thing?" That yeah, I, yeah, I was I like, swipe "Fuck right? it. Is that like a <laughs> what's that up? Is that a VR porn thing? Because I'm <laughs> I'm in, <laughs> what's that baby. Now we have so much we can talk about. <laughs> what's that social social media they use for Facebook? The, no, no, that was a uh, MySpace where you blog, and you guys did t- uh, just what to use to watch porn. Oh, blogs. Oh, Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah. Like, is it like Tumblr? You can see titties and everything over there. Oh like, man, Whoa. Tumblr is fucking a dark rabbit hole. So is Reddit. Yeah. I'll send these guys. I don't think I told. Uh, I don't think I've said it on the podcast. But I was uh, just like I. What is it? It's uh, I'm, I'm part of a few nasty things on Reddit. <laughs> One of them mm. is premium no, premium Snapchats. Uh, where it's just like all these chicks like trying to hawk their their premium Snapchat, whatever. And I saw one, and I was like, oh, she looks pretty cool. And She's like, I would pay for that. And I was like, I was thinking about it. I was real horny. And then I was like, let me click on that. And I clicked on her thing, and then she like has a video of like her. Uh, she's like 22 weeks pregnant, and the milk's coming in. And I was like, what the fuck? Is she like just <laughs> producing milk? Like she just lactating? And I was like, that's weird. And then I, yeah, for some you, reason, you, I go into the comments because I see, like, a lot of them. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go in there, and the first one that's upvoted a lot is, like, uh, r slash uh, lactation would really enjoy this. And I was like, what's r slash lactation? Oh, God, so got, I went into uh, lactation. Too far, man. And I started fucking looking into all these fucking lactation things, and I was like... Oh my god, I'm getting a boner. What's wrong with me? <laughs> that weird. Bro, you gotta step your you, game you up. That shit's been in the thing for a while. Like yeah, and then there's Hugh Cow. Like, yeah. there's the r slash Hugh Cow. So I'm just like, oh man, now I'm getting into like some... Uh, yeah. and like, I'm just starting into like a lot of the weird shit, but now I'm just starting to fucking... Been there. Let's see where I can go. That. I remember John, John introduced us to some anime, and he's like, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch this fucking badass fight scene. So I was like, okay. We watched it, and... Uh, it's something about mother's milk. The dude uh, got powered uh, up from some, a... something Quasar or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he, he got <laughs> fucking weed. Ah, fuck it. I know, I know there, my shit. There was a, there is wet nuns mm-hmm. that yeah. kept powering them up. I go, John, where the fuck did you see this? He's like, Country it was late night on the convention. It's like, there's a reason it's late night convention. There's fucking two seasons of that shit. <laughs> God damn it, James. I haven't watched, I only watched like the first episode, but once I realized like, what the fuck is it, I'm like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm good. It's that on my same file. Yeah. And it just gets fucking weird. I was like, what yeah. the fuck? It's like that, it's like that other show, that other fucking cartoon called Freezing. Oh, free, yeah, freezing, yeah. Freezing, yeah, he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, he knows I, what's up. Dude, I like Anything I, I you like want to watch, big titty women fucking fighting, like skippy ass clothes, and then eventually get some, see some titties? I'm down for that. Uh, the closest I've seen to big titty fucking anime was Iggy Tosin. Iggy Tosin. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that was the old or one. Tango Tange. Or Tango uh, Tenge. Or Queen something. Queen's, Queen's Blade. Blade. Yeah, yeah, Queen's Blade. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, yeah. You, you fucking are weaves too. Fuck you guys. You know, I never you know, said I wasn't. Yeah, you fucking weaves. But Brennan, that nigga's older. That guy right there, that piece. Shit, he's the one who thinks he's, he's playing the I but... still, I still hold on to the thing that I'm an otaku, which is like right before weeb, <laughs> where like because I don't like fucking admitting, admitting you're an otaku is your first step to being a weeb, bro. <laughs> but like, you is, is, is it, okay, but isn't weeb okay? What is the definition of weeb? 
I don't know why. Like, Aaron looks fed up. Yeah, like, Aaron, Aaron put, shit. Yeah. Like Look that up because, like, if we the way I always thought of Weeaboo was just like everything Japan, like you want to go, you want to go there, mm-hmm. you want to fucking do everything exactly. Like okay. you, you, you just love anything Japanese. Yeah. I'm just like I don't dig everything Japanese. Okay, so, and you so start here. using the the, the oh, phrases, right? Oh, here's right. The, yeah, here's and then you start a, doing like well, little that's, Japanese. That's, that's like a little bit on the otaku side. So here's the description for a weeb. Okay, a weeb is a non-Japanese male who watches and is a. I like how they clarify as male. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think girls could be weebs. I mean, they could be, but no. We, there's a that's there's our a, thing. No, there's a there's a uh, uh, word for the girls that are weebs. A weeb. <laughs> I don't mean that, ladies. I, I love you. Thank, th- like, thank you for listening, I ladies. You, sluts. <laughs> I think there's a different word for guys for being Lolitas. Lolitos. Lolitos. So, Weave is a non Japanese male who watches and is a fan of CGDCT anime, has a waifu, a waifu pillow, oh, and is obsessed no. with Japan. A weeb is always yeah. talking about how cute or kawaii his favorite characters are <laughs> and claiming one of them to be his waifu. He uh, occasionally... No, Jason's he, been there. He, uh, occasion, he got himself a waifu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we're watching. He, he yeah. occasionally uses rom, uh, roman, romanticized Japanese words instead of uh, English equivalents, such as kawaii instead of cute. And baka instead of dumb or jerk. It has both meanings. Some of them also use Japanese honorifics. For example, when they attach chan honorific to the names of people or characters they like or find cute, or when they use uh, sama uh, honorific to yeah, show yeah, they respect I'm someone. Weave. I know you weaves call, I told weaves, you this. Weaves call non-weaves normies. Weaves are harmless. <laughs> they, know, that for. they know they're disliked by many people, but they don't give a fuck because they know they are. I'm going to enter that with weaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Only, only, I only know I'm going to enter that with weaves because I started doing shit to annoy Eric. Uh-huh. Eric fucking, he, he hates the way my voice sounds. Uh-huh. And he hates my voice when I start going only chat to him. Oh, or like, kawaii. <laughs> Just to annoy him. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. And then he's the one who got me that fucking uh, uh, pillow. You see, pillow. You see, by that definition, I am not a weep. Because yeah. Yeah. E- even, I have I'm a body. I, I have your a, husband, though. <laughs> I, I have a body pillow. But not, 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 a, not a character. But it's not pillow. a character. It's not Man. a character, but it's Batman. You know what? Oh, shit. It's, oh, that's it's, a whole other character. It's the Batman symbol. It's the Batman symbol. Oh, I tried yeah. to get him a waifu mm-hmm. pillow, but it was just too late. I couldn't find one in San Antonio. So, so that's the thing. Is Plus, like, you know, it's I, hard to I, get him a waifu I pillow. definitely do not fucking say baka or kawaii. I didn't know what kawaii meant it's until cute. fucking like... So does that work? <laughs> at, like fucking... I would say six months ago. Mm. I didn't know what kawaii was. I was like, what the fuck? Why are people Oh shit, this he's, shit? he's climbing those steps. He's almost there. So like, I didn't know what it was. And then, like, the waifu it, thing, you keep saying, like, you have a waifu, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't watch that much anime. So, like, that's why. Like, Faye Valentine you or fucking Oro You don't have to watch from, enough uh, anime. You uh-huh. just have to have that one character. Yeah, yeah, or Rukia. He liked Rukia from Bleach. He did, was okay. See, See? the thing is, not the, the quantity of anime you watch. Mm-hmm. It's the, the girl you it's like from quality. the quality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. How, it's how you act about it. And an otaku... Oh, and you know I don't fucking Fucking James act. is a weak James. And, and an otaku mm-hmm. is sometimes used to mean hardcore anime fan. Originally comes from the Japanese word otaku, meaning house. If you're an otaku, it means you have no social life, love life, etc. Right. You are an Boom. otaku. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Do I know my shit? Do I know my shit? Right. Like, is it a weeb? Plus, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Is like I'm not super obsessed with Japan. Eric... We had this conversation. It's like Almost you want like, you want to go to fucking Japan and play Pokemon Go, and I was like, "What? Fuck <laughs> yeah, dude!" Oh, AJ, is Japan all that good? It's uh, it's not the fucking like made cafes galore and like fucking I mean, like Akira really fucking good. bicycles roaming around everywhere. It, what, it, what part of Japan were you stationed at? Uh, I was over there where Mount Fuji was, pretty much uh, around that area. Prefectures, bro. Prefectures. I mean. I, I was in... What? I don't even know. I mean, you're either like Tokyo pretty or much, fucking... Uh, I, don't think, I don't think you really care about like the prefectures. Like, pretty much, I was literally at Mount Fuji. Oh, okay. And did you I, ever travel down to Tokyo? Yeah, I did. Yeah, was it as 
as the enemies in their show show. I mean, I don't it, know. It, like so, like you know, like the obligatory like uh, it shows like in the opening credits scene the the Tokyo Square. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. It it's pretty much exactly like that. Uh, <laughs> lots lots of people crossing the freaking street, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then you could think of it like downtown New York, I guess, or Manhattan. Or... It's not. It's not as loud. Like it. Like they're very polite people, in all honesty, yeah. they're very polite. Um, freaking one of my one of my friends dropped his wallet like a couple blocks back, and some Japanese guy ran up and like Sumima saying like excuse me, excuse me, and then we turned around like what's going on, and then like he hands like with two hands he hands the wallet back to him. And you know I heard that the fucking Japanese people are cool, man. Like, yeah, you yeah. have those Japanese people that really hate Americans. Yeah, that's Next mostly. Uh, it's mostly the the older population, from yeah. what I've seen, and that was when I was in Okinawa. Okinawa, like, they they didn't like treat us very nicely, but uh, in Tokyo and whatnot. They least... remember what happened to Hiroshima. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> was it Okinawa as pretty as they say it is, though? Yeah, yeah. I, I I would totally go back. Just it's beautiful there. You know, it has all the interests, like whatever. I wouldn't yeah. like. I wouldn't mind living like a summer there or six months there. Yeah, I got to nah, see. I, I went to the. Uh, uh, temples. I went to the thirteen uh, thirteen Ronin temple. Uh, mm. Was it? Um, dang, I forgot what their official name was or whatever. You know, like uh, the the Ronin, the freaking um, samurais. The samurais, yeah. yeah. The ones that lost their lord and then they plotted revenge for a few years and when they finally got their revenge they all killed themselves because it was like seppuku or whatever. Mm. I, I got... thought it was forty seven, wasn't it? No, that's the movie. Oh my god. That's how the movie ended. The 13 Roman Roman or Samurai were the real things that, yeah, they lost their their lord lord, and they got revenge on whoever fucking killed them because he was murdered, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. And it was was like a big fight. It was like those 13 against the army or a small army. Yeah, pretty much. I I, mean, at the end, they took their lives, right? Yeah, I actually went there and I actually burned some incense and stuff like that. And it's really cool to get into the culture. Like, like when I you, mean, I like Japanese culture. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, even if you don't, like, even if you're not, like, a weave or whatever, oh, like, yeah, yeah. like what we're talking about, just going to see, like, how they do things there and whatnot, it's really cool, as long as you're not, like, a douche about it. Yeah. Like, yeah. like the biggest, like, tip I would have if you ever go to Japan is don't be an American. Go, don't, like, you are an American, right, or whatever, but, like, don't, don't be the ugly American. Don't be that ugly American, like, you're entitled to everything. Oh, and don't that, be like, arrogant. And that, like, nope. everyone has to speak English for you. And I don't, yeah. think, he, yeah. I don't think that, like, he's spitting on the fucking floor. No, you, no, yeah, it's definitely not. Yeah, thing. like, people don't, like, you know oh, how the, you walk around here and you're yeah. just like, <laughs> and then, wherever you're at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they don't want, they don't no. want that shit. No. And I mean, for some reason, you, they, they'll let Americans do it, but I, from what I've been seeing on some videos, because I was like, how do I plan a trip to Japan? Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm happy. This is happening, baby. I went to the Grand Canyon. Now it's Japan. But the main thing is, uh, you can't, I mean, it's not like you can't, but they don't like when you eat or drink while you're walking. Yeah. So they pretty much, they're like, they're cool with like people just getting shit from like 7-Eleven, mm-hmm. being outside of 7-Eleven or just standing like inside 7-Eleven mm-hmm. and you can eat whatever you purchase and you just finish mm-hmm. eating, mm-hmm. throw it away and just walk. You can't do like a, a bunch of kids do here and just fucking you're walking or driving and you're fucking eating at the same time. Yeah. Because that either you, fuck, you don't pay attention where you're going or it ends up to lit, uh, littering. Yeah. Yeah, it leads to littering whatever. They don't like that. And then Apparently uh, it's super clean over there. I don't know. It, it, was, it was really clean. Like, yeah. I mean, n- well, yeah, but I mean, I would like to visit Japan. But it's not like a a must thing for it's not yeah. like a like it's I have to it's, ex- it's not it's not a dream for me like I'd rather if it's on, there it's good if it's, I'd rather like go to like I don't know Italy just because it's I don't, I don't like like it, Italy or anything like that mm-hmm. like like no no, no no not even that like <laughs> it never like that like the Italian mm-hmm. like Over. never it never interested me like I would mm-hmm. rather go to Russia over. Mm-hmm. Italy. Well, uh, here, yeah, you know what? Here, here, I never asked Roman what kind of culture he would like. Like he likes. I don't think he cares about the culture. I think he just likes no? he would like to go. No. You know, now that I speak a lot to my grandma when she moved here, mm-hmm. Mexican culture, I got into it. You know, the Native American stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm too. Like, I'm too white. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my. I don't know. She was telling me stories mm-hmm. about uh, her dad and how he let own land and mm-hmm. how things were so much different and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I did do usually, research. Uh, back in the days when you kid, it was okay to beat a woman. And <laughs> she was your wife. She was, uh, yeah, she was saying there's all this big old difference of cultures and stuff. Like, 
how Americans are spoiled and mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. we're lazy and mm-hmm. how oh, we yeah. don't value the stuff we have and that's why we have so much shit that becomes trash mm-hmm. and even the trash is valuable stuff but we just don't care because it's easy for us to get it mm-hmm. she's like if it was her family back then or even her family now it's like man you, the stuff you have lying around you guys call it trash someone you know, in our family could fix it or maintain it or make something out of it rather than just lying around and calling it trash it's like americans don't know the value of things because mm-hmm. they don't really work as hard as other people do mm-hmm. and i was like damn and you know i started researching our culture and shit and it turns out and it's true it'd be just nice <laughs> i think i'm the only one who can make my grandma laugh like about anything mm-hmm. she'll just stand and wait around in the kitchen while i'm barely waking up and she's like, oh, show's about to start. What's he going to say now? Mm. Depending who's in the room. Mm. Mostly directed towards Tony. Sometimes directed to whatever my mom's talking about over some bullshit. Like, my grandma's like, oh, here she goes again talking about whatever. And then here she's like, what's they going to say? And whatever she's talking about, make a joke about it. Grandma, fucking laughing. I think I'm going to kill my grandma with laughter one day. She you, know what like, grandma, oh. you know what's funny about my grandma is morbid as fuck. Mm-hmm. Everything yeah. either leads to sickness or death, and yet she laughs at the dumb shit that Eric says. I was like, man, what the fuck? She's like, mm. he's funny. That's funny. Mm. Anyway, yeah, you never, you never want to experience some kind of culture or or was curious about your you, culture or your anything like that. You're more into like just getting the fuck out of here for a little bit, right? And like seeing uh, other shit. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I I'll, understand I'll, that. I'll, ex- I'll experience the, whatever culture it is. Like in Italy, like. To be honest with you, it'd be like, oh, I just would want to try like a lot of the, the different types of foods. That's yeah, like that's that, a, that's that culture. Yeah. Like that is what interests me. Like, oh, okay, and then I can go and see like what a, different uh, sites or like have people direct me in different ways. Yeah, you would know you, what I mean. Would you say you take in the culture a lot better through the food or through the, the uh, arts and Arts and artifacts that they leave behind for you to see in museums. Oh, yeah. It's, what, what it's, is culture it's, for you? Food it's, or history? It's, it's half and half. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, because like you, ex- food is experiencing... Like they always say, like oh, there's that there, you know, there's that extra ingredient. It's like that that soul that somebody puts into it, or like that love that somebody puts into it. So like you get a different you thing, the exactly. You know, and then the like there, uh, Anthony Bourdain. Ex- exactly. And then there's <laughs> like. When you go visit, like, um, you know, just like, uh, you know, the sights and sounds, whatever, whatever you want to listen to, uh, whatever you want to see, but there's differences in that. Like, th- there is, like, the temples. Like, temples are very different. Like, you could have a very diff- uh, different experience from a temple than just going to, like, uh, Akihabara or something like that. It's not like, like a bustling kind of... Oh, uh, part of town. It, it could be a religious thing going on. It, it could be yeah, it's true. True, yeah. like you know, I'm a big fucking video game. And mm. Pokemon store. Yeah, oh, exactly. Dude, even fucking like the small. It doesn't have to be temples because we visited temples and then the pyramids over there and like beat Mexico. Mm-hmm. But even the marketplaces is so different. Like mm-hmm. the flea markets. Mm-hmm. There's this mm-hmm. alley where my grandma did not let us go because it's witch's alley. Mm-hmm. It's like, you don't want to fuck with that shit. It's like, right. Harry Potter? I'd be running yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, I'm coming. And, uh, and she's like, you see this where's, where's the seven and three quarters? Seven and three quarters. <laughs> I would love to go to... Nine and three quarters. Uh, nine seven. and three quarters. Nine yeah, nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking UK weeb. <laughs> Uh, but when it comes to like uh, the UK, like I'd really like to go, except I've heard time and time again that their food fucking blows dicks. It's just so, so plain, yeah, exactly. So like cheese and crumpets, <laughs> and then you can't even get like o- like OG fish and chips. Like they don't let you do the the newspaper. Like you know, that was a big thing. Yeah. Like yeah, they, they would ser- the way that they would serve uh, fish and chips back in the day is, you know, it was a bunch of, you know, working folk, and they just had newspapers that they were reading, and they just, like, rip them up, and that's how they'd line the, uh, you know, the basket for what you're going to eat. give you a fucking cone of newspaper where they put the fries Exactly, in. And, and, yeah. they, th- and people always said, like, oh, there was something about it. Like, I don't know if it's, like, the paper that added something to it, or maybe like the ink. ink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it just added something extra to that. And I was like, how fucking bland is your food if newspapers <laughs> giving it flavor? <laughs> your food, 
Your got friends are so bland. Eek makes it. And, and, and you, their teeth were all fucked up. And yeah, like, and then <laughs> they're like, how bad is your food that you you put vinegar on it <laughs> instead of ketchup? And it's like, it's fantastic. It's <laughs> well, I mean, the UK are very fucking, like, crabby people, so... I mean, I'm crabby. That's why I'm saying, like, I think it, it would be cool, good for me because, first of all, it's cold. It's usually, like, raining kind of stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the one thing that would upset me is, like, the the uh, the food, but I think I can get past that. I think the place, and it's on uh, it's on one of my checklists is to go, mm-hmm. is... Uh, Di- Diagonal uh, Alley? No, fucking <laughs> Sweden. I like the Swedish thing. Sweden? Yeah, yeah, there's like these uh, spas and hotels that like, they're, they're, they got that like infinity pool mm-hmm. to where you, there's a, yeah, and, yeah. And I know you can't swim, but it's definitely where you can kind of like hold on to the edge mm-hmm. and then you can see the pool mm-hmm. and then the fucking lake that hits it and then just the mountainside to yeah. where you're just like fucking oh, calm, oh, serene. Oh just, yeah, like, the, the, like all that stuff just is really cool. I feel like you would suck at a de- uh, sensory deprivation fucking tank oh i'd fucking die like i'd pretty i'm pretty yeah. sure i'd have like a heart attack and like because i hear that all the time when i listen to joe rogan and shit he's always talking about like oh like do do the water tank like it's fucking fantastic you'll you'll have like such an enlightened experience i'm like i like that part the part where i'm just like enclosed like oh my god i'm gonna die <laughs> i would say like, not just enclosed but enclosed in water because you yeah. sir sink yes well no but I mean, it doesn't like, cover you though yeah, yeah. no that's the whole point like this guy would sink he turns and himself up. find a way to flip over yeah and, and then he'll, like he'll capsize his own goddamn that's self that's how they open yeah, the like, door and like, my <laughs> roman ass up yeah like I, like i somehow flip over and then like i try to get out but like in moving the thing a bookshelf falls on it i can't get out and just fucking drown <laughs> Is that trying to find you, Axel? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, he's fucking scared. Why was he's he like, naked? Peeing, <laughs> peeing shit. He's peeing himself. He's just like, ah, there's nothing. But, I don't know if that's water or pee in my mouth. That's how he drowns <laughs> when he starts peeing so much he overflows the tank. Uh, What's that fucking life? smell coming in? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? what the rotting pl- corpse <laughs> <and> pee. <Yeah. laughs> you know what place I would like to visit? Uh, mm. Iceland and the Netherlands. I heard they're very nice places. So Iceland, is, Iceland is green and Greenland is ice. Yeah, that's why I said that's Iceland. It's fucking weird. I, I would like to visit Amsterdam, but like, I would. Yeah. I, you see, that's what everybody's like. I'm going to fucking smoke weed or no. I'm going to go get horse or something. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to do any of that. I'm sure it's like a cool city just like by itself. I feel I'd rather like everybody's open that. about I, everything. I think Amsterdam is over fucking hyped. I, I'm sure it is, mm-hmm. but I'm sure there's like. There's good parts to it. Just like the, the bad, the bad thing that's gonna happen is like you're gonna meet a whole bunch of like American stoners, like bro, we just you know got what? I don't pot even think that's I don't even think that's a thing anymore because you got Canada where it's uh, weeds legal. Then you got Denver, Col- I mean Colorado, I mean, and I hate Canada. Other places. What? I, they are not nice over there. What? I know. You been to Canada? Yeah. What? For one day, and that one day was like <laughs> Do enough. Tell. Tell this story over so, the Canadian. Can we trust you? Can yeah. I trust you? Yes. Does yes. Canada trust you? <laughs> no. <laughs> trust us, James. Tell us, tell us your Canada hate story. So pretty much, you know, because me and Colleen were in Washington State, we are like, well, since we're so close to, you know, the border, we might as well get the passports good and go over, right? Mm-hmm. So we did. Um, it was me, Colleen, my daughter, and then... Oh, I think uh, her family was there. So uh, her sister and, uh, and the sister's husband... Uh, so we went up there, and we're like, okay, like, what what can we do? We just got into here, like, there. First of all, their speed limit signs are it's not like forty miles per hour. It's like it's kilometers. Yeah, like next week. yeah, that blew my fucking mind. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? what? You, know, you, never to, you never been to Mexico, James? No, I never been to Come Mexico. On. But anyway, right. so anyway, so I I get there to so we start driving. And we're like, oh, there's a an aquarium, and it apparently has good reviews. So we go to the aquarium. Really, really nice. Like really, really nice. Having a good time. It's kind of snowing because it's like toward the winter time when we went, right. um, and we get to the part where like we could get to go outside and see like the seals play and do tricks and whatnot. And it's snowing, but it's a warm snow. You know what I mean? Like it's not, no. you're not you're not freezing. <laughs> We're in Texas, James. Yeah, I know. You don't know what snow is. So pretty much, it's it's a light snow it's with a light, the sun out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So um, we get out there, and I'm standing watching these uh, seals with my daughter. And I'm like, Eris, like, you know, look at look at the seals. And she's having a blast. And then my sister-in-law asked me a question, so I turn around. And then I guess this was, like, 
green light go for this fucking Canadian douche. Uh, <laughs> so he, he grabs hit his like 18 year old son. He looks like he's like just as tall as me and he looks young. So I'm assuming like 16, 18 years old. Mm-hmm. Pushes my daughter out of the way to get in front to watch the fucking seals. I'm like, uh, excuse me, sir. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, did you just, I like literally said, like, did you just push my fucking daughter? And then he, like, like less than yeah, three, right? yeah, she was like, she was either three or four at the time. I was like, what the fuck? And then he looks at me and he turns around. I'm like, oh, fuck no. So like, I grab my daughter, I put her on my shoulders and I push him out the way and get in front of him. Like, and he looked, he had the gall to look at me like I was the fucking monster. <laughs> like, go fuck yourself and your fucking 18 year old fucking kid. You know what I want to do? I want a little bit of Canadian here. Go eat up. some more fucking poutine, you yeah. fucking hoser. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that Canadian has his own podcast. He's like, let me tell you when the fucking America was being ruined. Let me, let me tell you about the time I was <laughs> accosted by an American. Fuck you, yeah. buddy. Those he, Americans? Yeah, they're no good. No good, eh? He was from the fucking states, eh? I fucking <laughs> smelt it on him. <laughs> so, so that he must be a Washingtonian. <laughs> so we, there was there was that. There was that, and then like I was, so I was like pretty pissed off, and Clean even saw the whole thing, and like my whole family was like, man, what the fuck, Canada? And so, <laughs> and then, so we so we leave, blaming all. Of- yeah, you fucking, can't, on one can't, dude. Can't, Did you even hear the guy talk? Was he even Canadian? Maybe he's just another American. He's like, man, nah, fuck this guy. Nah, everyone in there was fucking Canadian. Fuck it. <laughs> nah, fuck that. It's, the instead Asian, of water, they have that, bottles of fucking that syrup. That would not have happened on U.S. soil. U.S.A. <laughs> but, uh, USA. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so we leave, and then, like, I... I must have been like fucking traffic hour or something like that, but goddamn, it took us like hours to get out of fucking Canada. Mm-hmm. It's fucking bullshit. Never, never going back again. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that place. Hey, James, you're going to Canada. You want to go? Sure. No. I'll leave my kid behind that when she'll get pushed. No. Because no, <laughs> they want they want to go was the go. Because I was even thinking about like going like the, I guess there was like some. Uh, Pitter patter. Let's get at her. There's some card shops close by. And we're like, oh yeah, we could go because you know Canada has a good like uh, Pokemon scene too. Or oh whatever. yeah, they oh, yeah. do that. They have a. Very good card game scene. Yeah, so I was like, oh, let's go check it out. But after that whole oh, aquarium uh, incident and then, like, the fucking traffic, like, fucking done. It was worse than Seattle traffic, man. To be fair, were you hungry? No. Okay. You should have had a Snickers. Maybe it would have made a difference. No. <laughs> I wasn't hangry. I was fucking pissed at this fucking <laughs> dude. Yeah. If I had a Snickers, I'd fucking jam it in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, mm. man. I've trained with Maria. Greens. Yeah. We got short fuses. Not even that. Ah, yeah. dude, if, if there's a grown man pushing a little girl, it doesn't matter Canadian, American, yeah. Mexican, that, that, you don't let that shit fly. Yeah, Especially if it's, it's your daughter. It's a dick, yeah. it's a dick move. No it's a matter big what. move. That's, that shit's yeah. douchey. Yeah. I, and I was. And I, Unless the kid was, like, mentally handicapped. I don't give a fuck. You push my fucking daughter. <laughs> All right. I don't no, give the, a shit. the thing is, you know, it's for the show and shit. You just, like, got oh, Was it, like, a show? It was a show. It was a show. So, like, you know, like, uh, the San Antonio Zoo, whatever, like, when you go feed the giraffes, like, or whatever, they show, like, oh, this is what they do. Yeah, the closer you are, the better the experience. Yeah. So, did you touch a seal? I wasn't able to touch a seal. (laughs) He had to protect his daughter from the fucking douchey cat. He's he's touched other Navy seals. Uh, No. No. You know you have. Oh, you know I tried out for the seals? (laughs) Did you? Yeah, they didn't let me join, though, because I couldn't balance a ball on my nose. (laughs) <laughs> oh man! Oh, God damn it! Oh, dad that. joke, so there's, yes. there's your dad it's joke. Like, it's a fucking. Think he got it? Like, what is he talking about? I was like, this nigga dab at this joke. Yeah, I did. And I was like, oh fucking damn it, I get it. James, you know no one can see your dad, right? It's fine. But I like a, how you did it in slow motion. Yeah. Kudos, my make, friend. Make an annotation, please. Yeah. James Dab Dad. At one, On that one, point, one, we're gonna get to uh, comments and we have some comments. Uh, we only have one comment. Alright, but you know you can always go to youtube.com slash screenworks and drop off any comments there or you can go and join us on our social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search out Grimworks and you'll see our ugly mugs. Just comment there be like it's for the city podcast. Or now you can go the old school way. Roman, tell me what the old school way is. You can go ahead and send us an email at citypod88 at gmail.com. Eric. James, oh. 
Alright, so what is this one comment we have and uh, who's it from? Alright, this comment is from Mark Martinez. What? Uh, I forgot we talked shit about him. <laughs> and we, he, he wasn't part of this episode. I forgot about him. 30 <laughs> seconds in, he doesn't listen to this podcast. That's a quote from me. He listened to it. <laughs> so, <laughs> apparently, Mark listened to it. And, uh, you know what? I still don't regret it. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, I was waiting for you. You know what? Just fuck him. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, I, I know, I know. Mark listens from time to time. I I honestly thought he didn't. I thought he was just like, oh, I couldn't make it. I'm busy. You know, yeah. he's he's doing other things. That's why I was just like, ah, he killed, fuck a, it. He killed a venom snake today. He did. He did. He, he a hero. hero. It had a symbiote and everything. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Red touch that yellow. Gonna kill a fella. So yeah. get at it. It's it's black it's touch the it's red if the black touches the red it's okay right yeah if it's the yellow touches red not yellow kill it mm-hmm. was it touching the yellow yeah. yeah okay yeah those <laughs> nah he just fucking uh, he... I don't even know he probably photoshopped that shit <laughs> it's true he's a real son of a bitch no, 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 no. <laughs> His, we're talking about a guy who can fucking bury baby kittens and then dug them up. Was he, it, Wait, it, was, it was dogs. Oh, it was puppies. It was, it puppies. was puppies. There you go. And he didn't do anything. It was, it was his piece of shit cuts of justice. <laughs> they, were, they were playing CSI. But he watched. Hey, yeah, that's that's oh. uh, that's sin of that's, omission. So that, yeah, that, that's that's accessory. It's, it's true. Ah, but true. Uh, according to the news, that uh, there's been because they're they're starting to open San Antonio a little bit more. Mm-hmm. There's been snakes uh, and me, scorpions mm-hmm. coming into town. And I was like, oh shit, yeah, watch out. Yeah, cool, scor- cool. scorpions have been coming into the house over where. Uh, you live at? Yeah. 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 So. I heard you snakes too. Oh yeah, uh, the husband of Colleen's sister, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, he gets there first, but he keeps telling me that man, these fucking scorpions are coming like every day. What the fuck? But they, he thinks it's because of the rain. Probably is because of the rain. You yeah, know, put mint on the side. Oh, what happens when you're in the house? Fuck that. Scorpions ain't gonna fucking. That's you that's what like happens mint? when you live in the like outskirts mint. of Texas. You don't like mint? Not really. Huh? Yeah. That's why you gotta live in the ghetto. There ain't no snakes or scorpions over that's here. That's not true. They're just yeah, rats and thieves. Mm. There's a bunch of uh, spiders. Yeah, fuck, fuck spiders. Size, fuck spiders. Burn what? the burn what? burn the house down. Fuck oh it. My Jesus. God, dude, I hate I hate spiders. You know my dad. Oh shit! Hell yeah! My, I'm not the only one. My dad showed me arachnophobia when I was a kid. Remember that fucking old yeah, yeah, horror yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my favorites. The, yeah. The, the fuck that the, movie. The guy from Ready to Rumble. No, no it's a whole... Freaks or kid. Yeah, God. <laughs> Same thing. Whatever. Arachnophobia had uh, Jeff Daniels and... Uh, old John actors. Goodman. Yeah, old actors. In it. Uh, so dude. these guys always give me shit because I don't like spiders. I fucking hate spiders. Uh, I could fucking probably kill any, anything living. Spiders fuck me over, man. I'd I, be like, no. I could kill spiders, but if I see a spider like just ran, like I lifted this bag and there's a spider there, I'd be like, oh, fuck. Like, you know, that initial fear... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Self defense mechanism. Oh, man, there's so many times where like I find a spider in my room or like in the trucks, like uh, at work, mm. just because you know we the we leave the the gates open, we're delivering and shit, and shit will crawl in there or they're on the uh, carts and stuff like that. And there's so many times where like you know I just look at the car and I grab it and I see a little spider. And I'm like, oh fuck! And I grab a little piece of paper and just. Scoop it up on there and just throw them in the grass. I was like, ah, I'm gonna fucking kill a spider. I oh, that's nice. And I squish him. Usually, I, I just him. see the spider and I grab it and <laughs> crush it. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't kill. I don't kill a lot of things. To be honest I kill with you. a lot of things. I, like I'll kill like annoying things like mosquitoes and flies and things like that. Weaves. Uh, <laughs> I, I just want to have a disdain. I have a disdain for insects. I don't like them. Nah, I think they're fucking certain insects. They're necessary. Like fucking fleas and ticks and all that shit. I don't, I don't know. think those are counted as insects. Those are pests. Are yeah. they pests? Yeah. They're not insects. No. Well, I mean, technically they're insects, but they're pests. No. Fucking hate those things. Oh, mm. yeah. Oh, oh te- te- Texas is so fucked up with, uh, the, like, it, like, pests like that. Yeah. Like, you've heard about that tick, right? Okay. It's, a, it's a tick. Well, it's just one way you kind of, like, start on your shoulder and you just, like, oh, man, Like, t- ticks already can Shut give up. you Lyme. <laughs> <laughs> they can already give you Lyme disease. Like, Lyme disease is bad enough. There's yeah. one that if it... If yeah, it uh shit. if it feeds on you, it changes the way that you eat. Oh yeah, it, it, no, it, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What it does is it makes you allergic to uh, red meat. 
So like if it, if a if a, a tick gets on you, uh-huh. you it's possible because I haven't seen like the actual insect. I've only just read about it. They mm-hmm. only showed one picture. I don't remember. Um, but it's a, a certain kind of tick that will make you allergic to red meat. Yeah. And I thought it made you allergic to foods that you weren't allergic to before, was it? No, no it's, 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 it's specific. <laughs> we just got it's, po- it's possible, but it's specifically red meat. Yeah. Like, so the, they don't dark this. Oh, forever. 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 Really? Yeah. yeah. They could do that? Yeah. yeah, yeah like that, that, one, that one tick came. So what happens if you get that tick that gives you Lyme disease? Does it, like, eat up the thing and you just, like, put a little salt with the Lyme? Shut and up, oh, God. Man. First of all, they're not even spelt the same. Yeah. <laughs> lime and Lyme. Lyme? Uh, you're just saying <laughs> lime. You're not doing anything else except like wiggling your eyebrows, like lime, lime, Even knowing lime, the shit lime, <laughs> lime. You're just adding inflections to the word lime. You're not spelling or anything. L I M E. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, is it that's, lemon. That's the fucking fruit, you jackass. Well, then how, what's that? How you spell the disease? L Y M E. That's retarded. You broke it. You uncultured swine. I guess. <laughs> Fuck it, I like could be wrong. Ready. That's a, that could actually be the, the limestone as well. So I don't know. Either way. On that note, city, this has been that. episode 108 of the City Podcast. Mm. I've been your host, thanks, Tony. Thanks, Mark, for the comment. Roman. And your boy, Eric. Hate that boy. And a special thanks to our special guest, James. And a special Yo. seal, Navy man. <laughs> thanks for having me. There you, there you go. go. Thank you, sir. And like we said at the end of every... Oh, James, do you know it? You probably don't because you don't listen. No. Uh, I, I'm, yeah. uh, Shame. Wait, where's my money? I thought you guys were paying me for this. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll beat you with the asshole. Uh, oh, and, and, and Street Fighter. And Street Fighter. Oh, no, R- real ass whooping. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna eat that ass. Damn. That's uh, fine. That's uh, fine. You're damn right. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, can uh, tongue, you can tongue dart my fart box. What was it? It, it ain't game. You don't like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it ain't game if you don't come, but you are. Because <laughs> I make people come, except women. Yeah, I can't. Damn. I have figured that one out. <laughs> and all you hear is John goes, Yeah, he does. <laughs> But uh, like we say at the end of every episode, bye. bye.